This is Hector David Jr. You know him as Mike the Green Samurai Ranger. And apparently, allegedly, there has been a video surfaced of him throwing an elderly person, as the Legacy of Nerd has said. And they said, it appears Hector David Jr. may be in some trouble after a video surfaced online what appears to be him throwing an elderly person down. Now, this is not a good look. I know what his anger issues are. He had a go at Scott Zillner back in 2014, I think, and was very, very angry about a lot of stuff. Now, I don't know if he was drunk or high, but there are other kind of stories about what Hector did back then. But I saw it all firsthand and it was it was something. Let's say let's say that. But I want to show you the video from Nampa PD. And let's jump into that. So the rest of this video basically just goes over about contacting the Nampa PD about it, etc, etc. Now, they did say that there was an uh, an update where it says, identified, the investigation is ongoing. Thank you for all those who have helped. And again, they've put out update on yesterday's battery video. Thank you for all of those who helped on this case. The investigation is ongoing, but we wanted you to know that he has been identified. A lot of people are saying that this is Hector David Jr. Now, a lot of people could be like, hang on a minute, like, you know, a month ago, he looked completely different. And yes, he did. This is what he looked like roughly around ago. This is um, from Ranger, Pop and Stop. But yeah, again, he could have have rapid uh, growth around his beard and etc. etc. We've seen it and it looks in. Now, the one thing that I kind of picked up was it took me a while because I was looking into this because I was like, man, like this can't be him. But due to his actions, we know what he's like. It was his ear that gave it away to me just by the shape here. And I'll kind of explain why. Now, the only reason why this is, is because of this part here and that part there they are pretty much identical now he could have rapidly grown this we don't know how long it takes obviously he was in a film where he had to grow his beard out so obviously they may have given him techniques i would like a wizard beard please now also it depends on if people have seen this phone case as well because that would have been at ranger stop so very interesting to see if that kind of pops up but yeah, his ear kind of gave it away, for me at least. And again, you can have a look just there. It's pretty much very identical. My message to him is, you're a piece of shit and you should not be in this community anymore. The elderly man that you assaulted and threw to the ground could have been hurt even more. And what's really weird is all of this isn't after some sort of shouting or anything like that. It's over a parking space. The reason is, round about this area, you see it at quite a lot everywhere around the world. This basically says that if you park here, you are disabled or that you have a medical condition, you know, or you're an elderly person that needs that space because it'll be closer to the store, it will have more space, whatever. We've all seen this. Now, the fact is that you threw an elderly man down because they pointed out that you parked there and that you shouldn't shows that you have some fucked up stuff. Like, you do not attack the elderly whatsoever. It's just a bitch fucking tactic. When you see this video, he goes up right behind him, forces him to the ground or pushes him to the ground, and then just goes like, fuck you, old man. You know, fuck you. Like, fuck, I can't stand people like you. Also, I kind of think that Whoever was in this car should have just literally slammed on the brakes, gone up and just fucking hit the shit out of him. I'm not one for violence, but if you've just attacked an elderly man for no reason, they should just get out of the car and actually fucking batter the shit out of you because you have no respect and you can go fuck yourself. But just the way he then just drives off, you can tell he's just like, man, fuck this shit. I'm out, I'm going off, and then that's it. So I'm kind of curious to know, I wanna see the full HD. Now Henry Resilient is going to be getting the HD cam footage possibly, which is gonna be interesting to kind of go over because if this is allegedly Hector, now I wanna know his reasoning why. Now, 
Another big thing here is Instagram. Every single Ranger actor pretty much has their Instagram and that's literally so that they can post it. So you can see right here before we click on it, it says 76K followers, 324 following, six over 6,000 posts and stuff like that. And obviously it's there. So when you click on it, it takes you to a thing and it says, sorry, this page isn't available, which means that he has deactivated his account or deleted it because maybe there is some incriminating evidence on there. Maybe he is showing what he has on at the time where he's gone out or whatnot. Thing is, if you're deleting this and there is evidence of what you were wearing or other things on there, then I generally kind of think that you're hiding something and you don't want to be caught and you're hoping that all of this blows over. Now, I am glad that they have identified him if this is Hector, but right now, this does not look good for you. I hope, and swear to God, I hope that no con books you for what's happened if this is you. I hope that none of your fans stick about and you kind of like are left out for work because you attack elderly people like that. And it was such a fucking bitch tactic. You're a bitch, Hector. You're a bitch. Especially since what I've seen of you in the past. Hector, maybe you'll get the fans over by doing a backflip like you normally do. Anyway, interesting to see how this is. I'm going to follow this up and follow the story very carefully. But yeah, just, it's not good. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Check out the Patreon as well as the channel memberships. And I will catch you in the next video. I want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. And I wanted to shout out Kimono Cat, Cura Sonata. Your help goes a long way to help support the channel. And if you want to help support the channel, the links to my Patreon and channel memberships are listed below in the description. あらあら、チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。